Hi. We are doing an exposition on Psalm 2, where the heathens make a post. And it's open with a question, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? They make so much boast, having taken counsel together, that they say in verse 3, boasting, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cuts from us, making a boast. I don't know where the enemy is making a boast over your life. Wherever he's making a boast, we are saying here that the boast is empty and useless. The boast is of no effect. Why? Because the triumph of the king, we speak. Our Lord and Master, we answer them. Concerning our nation, Nigeria, Israel, God's plans and purposes for the Middle East, Ukraine, everywhere else that there is war, there is strife, that there is natural disasters and calamities, God's purpose and plans will prevail. The enemy can never, 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 never have the final say. I like the song that says, Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say in your life? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turned my life around. Jehovah turned my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say in a nation, Nigeria, Israel, the Middle East, the world, all over. I mention Israel because they are the latest now at war. And we are saying that for every calamity everywhere where it is the work of a human being planning and plotting and scheming, wherever we are here saying that the schemings and the plottings will not work, that God's counsel and purpose alone will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stanza two of the hymn now, A Better Day is Coming, says, The boast of haughty error, no more will fill the air. But age and youth will love the truth and spread it everywhere. No more from want and sorrow will come the hopeless cry. For strive will cease and perfect peace, perfect peace will flourish by and by. Coming by and by, Coming by and by, the better day is coming by and by. Coming by and by, coming by and by. Better day is coming by and by. The morning draweth near, is coming by and by. Peace everywhere, we speak God's peace. The morning is here, better days is here. Coming by and by, coming by and by. Better and more glorious days ahead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Indeed, the boast of haughty error will no more fill the air in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be the boast, whatever they are beating their chest on over you, over my life, over our nation, Nigeria, over Israel and the nations of the world, wherever there is a plotting and a scheming, God will answer. The king will triumph. The king will show himself mighty. The king will show himself faithful. The king will show himself able to do for us all, exceedingly abundantly above our request in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All you have to do is to rest in the Lord. Is there a boast over your life, that of your children, your husband, your business? We have prayed and continue to pray for our nation, Nigeria, and God continues to exalt himself. We are saying there is a Godward part and a manward part. The Godward part is that he that seated in the heavens, watching over our affairs, will ensure that the boast of the hidden does not come to pass. What is your own part? 
your own part. If you have not yet accepted Christ as personal Lord and Savior, it's for you to accept him. When you accept Christ, you identify with him. When you accept Christ, you are now handing over your battles to him. You are now saying, God, I hand over the totality of my life, my all in all to you. You become safe in the hollow of his hands. And whosoever tries to touch you, of course, is hitting himself on the rock. And we know that you can't beat yourself, beat your leg, hit your leg or your head on the wall and remain the same. No. <laughs> it is your blood that will be flowing. And so we are saying that whosoever, wherever, the key to answer, the key, the answer to that boost is for you to give your life to Jesus. If you've not yet given him your life, please do. My mom, the Connects Comfort, that Roshan Opa used to say to me when she used to pray, I said, ah, this prayer, I know the quick answer. <laughs> but she said to me, she said, look, when God answers you, when he answers, the prayer is everlasting. The answer is everlasting. It may appear slow, but it is a better answer because when he has spoken, nobody, nobody can change it. That's why they say, who has spoken when he, the Lord, has not said so. So we are saying here that the key is to give your life to Jesus, to accept him as personal Lord and Savior. And if you've accepted him and you're facing challenges, stay there. Go nowhere. Stay in Christ. Tell yourself, to whom shall I go? Who else? Like the apostles did. And when you do that, you have an absolute surrender. You come true for you and for me always in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To accept Christ as personal Lord and Savior, all you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Having said that prayer, your sins are forgiven. Simple. <laughs> but there was a process. Christ went through that process and paid the price for you and for me. All we are now doing is to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense. That is why it is simple. And for some of us, because of the simplicity of it, we do not believe. Please believe. Receive it. Take it. Run with it. You may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, if you are just joining, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. As simple as that, you begin to enjoy God's riches. And you already know him. Stay ruggedly focused on the cross. Don't remove your eyes. Don't look at the raging battles. Don't look at who is who. Don't look at who is fighting you. Stay focused on Christ. Second Chronicles 20, chapter 20, has the account of how three powerful kings came to attack Israel. Three powerful kings, the kings of Ammon, the king of Moab, and the king of Monsiah. And Jehoshaphat looked, ha, huh, these vast, mighty armies. But when he went to the Lord, the Lord said, just praise me. And that was all. So we are saying, don't look at the giant problems. A nation is celebrating her 64th independence anniversary. And it's like, <laughs> we're in the thick wilderness, in the thick bush, in the thick forest, in the thick tunnel, dark, dark tunnel. No, don't give up. It appears, we are saying here that better and more glorious days are ahead. It is coming, it is here already. Don't give up, don't give in, don't lose faith, don't lose hope. Keep on believing. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasia Banoglo Mistress International. On Facebook, we have five, and five vibrant pages, such the scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. On YouTube, over 1,300 videos. Go like, share, subscribe. We do not close any segment of our service without a reference to the word, without telling you to please get a Bible with a daily devotional to sit and study. And if you are very, very busy, get the offline free Bible, audio Bible. Just play it. Keep playing it. Keep playing it. <laughs> And you felt that the devil is losing. He didn't want you to read. Uh-uh. 
with the offline audio Bible, you find out that you are covering great, great grounds. Before you need to finish the whole of Genesis, the whole of the book of Genesis. <laughs> Say, eh? Which you won't be able to do if you were sitting down to read. But in that course of one, two hours of doing something, you have finished it. Go back, play it again. But of course, you must also sit with the word. For me, I make progress faster when I see the prints. As I'm saying it like this, the words, the Bible passes stick in my brain. I do not forget them. Whatever means is good for you, by all means, do it. But do get a Bible. Sit. If you are new to the world, start with, start with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Gospels. They talk and tell about Christ Jesus. They give you an insight on who he is. And the New Testament generally contains the basis for the doctrines of the Christian faith. As you read, your life, my life, can never, never remain the same again. We insist that you read before you begin to go on net to listen to messages so that you don't walk in error. Thank you so, so very much for streamlining with us. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continents of evil and of mercy never leave us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you richly. Thank you. <laughs>